All right, Chad, welcome. I'd like to get to this actually right from the stock point of view. Tell me about Qantas Services, why it's a name people should think about owning as this massive transition to EVs takes place. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. So the, the mass adoption of electric vehicles has been driving nothing less than a wholesale shift in how the energy flows in the U.S. And the current grid infrastructure is just fully insufficient to actually realize that. And you know, I think you know, transmission contractors like Qantas Services really benefit. Um, there are a couple of reasons why. So first of all, um, EV growth is going to drive a 70 gigawatt increase in electricity demand. It's going to be entirely renewable. And that's a really big positive for transmission because renewables are built in low population density areas and they need transmission to bring it to the high density population areas. Second, um, the shift to electricity is actually going to increase the complexity of energy distribution. And that's going to, just going to mean more good investment. So the density of the electric grid needs to go up because if you think about it, um, you know, today we drive our vehicles to the gas station, uh, one of 150,000 filling stations in the U.S., uh, but electricity actually will flow to one out of, you know, 100, 140 million homes in the U.S. And the grid's really just really not prepared for this. Yeah. Uh, in some states right now, you know, the U.S., uh, the AC usage uh, is actually, you know, not even, uh, it's, it's too high. And think about plugging in EVs to do that as well. Well, and we um, see, and I think, yeah, I was, oh, sorry, Chad, I was just going to say that we're all thinking through the heat waves that we've experienced in parts of the country where, you know, people couldn't even get AC on. There were deaths from heat. The grid is stretched already for all of these different reasons. And then you add this on top. So you like Qantas services, which has doubled over the past year. You think it can keep going to 107. That's your price target. Jacobs Engineering, Agco, Cummins, Trimble, they're also outperformed. What you Are there some common themes there with those picks? Yeah, definitely. So I think, you know, over with, uh, with Jacobs, who's a, a very big beneficiary of the overall infrastructure build out, you know, they're actually at the tip of the sphere. Uh, so they really focus on the, the design side. If you think about the, the broader infrastructure bill, um, there's not enough shovel ready projects. And so you're going to see a lot of the, the, fun, the first funding you know, going towards design. And they're one of like the, the key marquee players there. So I think they're going to be really well positioned for this overall trend.